Hey guys, it's Manstrel. Today I'll show you the process and how I adjust my dead zone settings to what works with my controller and what feels good to me so that you can adjust your dead zone settings to what works with your controller and what feels good to you. I know that's just a long-winded expression of saying, this is personal preference, because it is. It's also dependent on your controller because every controller is different. If anybody, including me, tells you, hey, use these dead zone settings, they are perfect, use this, ha 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 unsubscribe do not listen to me do not listen to them because you have to test this for yourself so let's get into this the two new dead zone settings are axial and radial ship at 0.12 and 0.13 respectively they're right here in these settings controller because i'm on xbox yeah anyway let's slam these to zero and zero notice that yeah there's some massive drift I don't have my left stick on, sorry, I don't have my thumb on the left stick. How about if I exit the menu, is my camera moving around? Yes, because my camera is controlled by my right stick, my cursor is controlled by my left, as well as you can see my feet moving. So how do we fix this? You're going to increase the radial dead zone to the lowest point at where it stops drifting, because radial dead zone accounts for the entire range of the controller, not just up, down, left, to right. Is it still drifting at 0.05? Yes. 0.06? Um, I don't know. It's either yes or no. I'm not 100% sure. So let's put it to 0.07, and now I can be 100% confident that my left stick will not drift. So that's great. How about my right stick? Let's look at the camera. How about slam it around? How about slam my left stick around too? Just make sure. Nudge it out of the complete center. Not drifting. But my right stick, if I slam it around, if I nudge it, not drifting. Awesome. Fantastic. So I know that 0.07 is the lowest point that I can put my dead zone to where I guaranteed know it's not going to drift. If that's at 0.06, I don't know for sure that 0.07, I know it's guaranteed to not drift. Another thing is the fact that if your controller is brand new and you're able to do zero, zero, don't do that. Because what's going to happen is your controller is going to get drift and you're just going to have to keep increasing it. You're going to lose your muscle memory over time every time you have to increase it because your controller starts drifting the more you use it. So put this at a comfortable value and we'll get into what feels good in a bit. Let's actually get into that right now. First, what you want to do, go to your menu. My brain is going to tell my thumb to move my left stick straight up and down. However, I am not a robot. So when I go up and down, notice that it's not perfectly vertical. I want this to be perfectly vertical because I am not explicitly telling it to go diagonal. This is counteracted by the axial dead zone. So this accounts for Basically, it says, if I am moving my controller up and down, how far do I need to move it left and right for it to register that left and right input? This accounts for the diagonals. So I'm going to increase this to where I say, okay, go up and down. If it is anything but up and down, then keep increasing it. Because when you're aiming, if you have perfectly vertical recoil, you want to move your sticks perfectly down. And just because your thumb is moving your controller in the exact spot doesn't mean you want it to be there. Still not great. I'm not a robot. I hold my controller slightly offset in my hand, so it's exaggerated like this. This is up and down, not really. But as you see, if I move it down, you see how it's kind of like that. I'm telling it up and down. I'm not perfect, though. So let's just put it here. Still not great. I just want to have it guaranteed go up and down as long as I'm not telling my controller to go diagonal. Let's have a bit more room in the menu. That's pretty good. So now what you want to do is focus on the diagonals. 
You want to move your stick to where it feels like you're intentionally going diagonal. So if you're going down and to the right, you want it to start going to the right as soon as you think that you're telling your stick to move to the right. So I'm physically moving my left thumb to the right, and it is going to the right as soon as I do so. The more you increase this value, I'm going to have to move my stick to the right way more. It's super sensitive, not super, it's pretty sensitive just straight up down left or right, but as soon as I tell it to go right, I am now, but it's going down, and it takes a while. I want it to respond as soon as I tell my stick to respond. It was at 0.06. All right, how about up and left? Doesn't matter as much. The right stick is what matters more. So I'm going to just up and down. If I'm trying to counteract recoil, this recoil is up and to the left. As you see, slices up and to the left. Up and down, great. How about down to the right? Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. If I go straight down, it goes down. And then as soon as I say, hey, I want to go down into the right, it does. So for me, 0 0.06 and 0 0.07 works. However, I'm in the tower. I'm not playing the game right now. So I'm going to go into a private match and I'm going to actually shoot my gun because that is super important. You are focusing on aiming, not how far do I have to move my thumb. You have to make this second second nature. Yeah, you have to make this second nature. You don't want to think about moving your thumbs. You want to think about aiming your gun. So now that I know that 0.07 is the absolute lowest it can go, I want to feel what is comfortable. In my menu, I can say this feels good, but I want to actually realistically shoot my gun and gauge how it feels. As I was talking with some friends, their controllers have to be like point, point 0.12, just kind of where the default is because it's not calibrated. Well, the, the sticks are off. I have a few friends that have new controllers where they can set the, the, the controller to zero and zero and it works, but as I said earlier, you probably don't want to do that because you're just going to have to throw off your muscle memory, adjusting it higher and higher the more you use it because Control. it's going to get stick drift. And I know this is a long video so far for two settings, but it seriously is important because you don't want to have to adjust this a lot. You just want to get, hey, what does this feel? Is this comfortable? You're going to set it there and learn it because it will feel off. It will feel off for sure. If I'm trying to counteract recoil looks pretty good I'm not gonna shoot I'm gonna do the same movement notice how it's very easy to go down and then to the right that's pretty easy but as soon as I tell my stick to go to the right it does I have to move my thumb for it to move and it moves immediately when I move my thumb so I know that this is pretty good as you see I'm now in a game the last thing you want to do is actually test in a game itself because as much as you can test the menus, it's not the actual game. So the main difference is that the main difference is that there is reticle friction and that you have to move your stick further to go the same distance whenever it's stuck on an opponent's face. It's not going to blow up. So far, it feels pretty good. This is actually different settings than what I was using before. It feels a bit tighter because I was on 0 .08, 0 .08, and I just changed it. So far though, I can say it feels pretty good. At the end of the day, it's just experimenting. That 
was further than I wanted it to go. So I'm just going to turn it up. Turned up by one. Let's see. Notice how I flicked much further than I wanted to. If you're over aiming. No way. If you're over aiming, it might be because you don't, not because of the sensitivity, but because of the, uh, what am I going to say? Come on, Manny, talk your talk. Might be because you started aiming before you actually intended to. You can either turn your sensitivity down or turn the dead zone up. In my case, I'm comfortable with my sensitivity. I'm not comfortable with the dead zone, so I want to adjust that into what I can feel is comfortable. That feels pretty good. I'm gonna slide off. At farther ranges, feels pretty good, I would say. I might need to put on a whisper of rending, but we'll see. That felt pretty good from far. If I can hit, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna try to snipe, snipe rocket, not snipe, but deep shot. That's what you get. See you later, bucko. So far, pretty comfortable. I'm aiming where I want to aim. I'm gonna boost up in the air. Come at me, bro. Actually, I can boost up in the air through the wall. I know, let's do that when I have heavy. It's been a while. I'm gonna boost, freeze, rocket stick. Let's see if I can hit the shot while AE is a thing. Uh, do I got clearance? Yeah, I want them, want them to come up. Or do I go for Void Titan? Come at me. Come at me. They have no range. Here we go. You ready, guys? I screwed that up. That felt good. That's pretty crazy. I think I may have been weak already though. I have three GL shots. Is that three GLs? I think so. Maybe I just missed the rocket because, or the freeze into the rocket because they were lagging. Did I challenge? have to go for them. I don't know what you're doing. I do have it loaded. I'm going to get my health back. I don't know. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but that was clearly just me missing. Oh my 
god. I was probably gonna pop super there. I didn't realize that they were coming up from behind though. That was just terrible. Not gonna lie. Don't throw your knife, man. Hunters with their dodges can just get knives back. I'll shoot your body too, I'll still win. It's not number one. Bro really said, nah, I'd win, and I won. Pretty bad game, but... You've shown your might, Guardian. Well fought. You see the point where it's it's basically, hey, that didn't feel right. Let's put it back up. Now, of course, I had foresight of playing on point oh eight, point oh eight, and it feeling good. I'm trying point oh seven, point oh eight. That looked pretty good. Now I should probably just review footage, see how it felt. See how it looked. Was I over aiming, under aiming? I'm going to do one more menu testing. That's pretty good. Every time it's clearly, well, yeah, every time it's clear, clearly left or right is a skill issue. Like, I can tell my thumb is not perfect. Should just get to training. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. That feels pretty good. I played a game. Just fine tune this as you go. You might realize that you're starting to aim faster than you'd anticipate. That's what you need to look out for. That's what you need to adjust is knowing how far you can take it before it stops, before it starts drifting, but then what feels good. So there's kind of ranges, levels to it. I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the game and I'll see you.